Hey YouTube, today I'm just going to do a quick walkthrough, just a quick review of Windows Movie Maker, Windows Live Movie Maker, um, and yeah, just going to show you how it all works, everything, so kind of just going to go along the tabs here, so if you look here you have the basics, the clipboard, paste, copy, cut, whatever, you can, and this, you can add uh, the visual media and then you have the uh, audio media and then you can uh, make your a webcam video you can take a snapshot you can add a title so if you add a title uh, you can edit the text and all of this will come up here so it's, basi it's just basically um, it's kind of word like if you, th if you know what I mean as in program word and then you can change the animation of it have like lens flares as this is the latest version of the program that's where you get all this song but yeah um, so that's how you add a title um, and yeah you can go back to video tools and you can add it the length of the title length of the video I don't know why I can't do it at the moment but anyway um, yeah so I, I think that's easy enough adding the video just choose a file and click open or just double click the file whatever and webcam video it's down here but yeah um so yeah so you can cancel whatever um yeah so you can take a sh snapshot and it automatically takes the snap snapshot and you can save it but I'm not going to save it of course and, but, and the credits just the exact opposite of the title really ok so animations you, I mean to use an animation you have to import a clip so I'm just going to import just a random um, picture um, so yeah you can add a blur effect uh, if you mouse over it will preview it plenty of um, whatever you want to call them to choose from erection of which it moves you know and there's so many more Excellent. So yeah, you can. You've. I've chosen a fade out. I'm gonna get rid of that. So visual effects. You can use a blur. You can edge. Um, is it detection? Posturize. Threshold. Black and white. Black and white orange filter. Black and white red filter. Black and white yellow filter. Cyan tone, sepia tone, and many, many more. They are pretty neat. There's some pretty neat stuff there. So warp, whatever. So yeah, um, project. You can change it to widescreen, as you can see the ratio there. Um, okay. Uh, view so zoom out, zoom in, reset, thumbnail size, edit. Um, so yeah, let's just add a random music track. Uh, let's see, um, just a random track here. Um, yeah, so music tools, you can fade it in, slow, medium, or fast. Do the same with fade out, and there are just so many. There's so much you can do. So, say if you added a, wanted to add a video, I'm just gonna take a video, just a random video. Say maybe one of my own. Um, you can, yeah, you can go video tools, and you can actually change the clip speed. Um, wait a minute, I think it's loading. That's all it's doing. So yeah, you can. 
So you don't just need Windows Movie Maker to change to clip speed. I found in many programs like Camtasia and well the Windows Live Movie Maker you can change the speed. So yeah, this is the end of the video. This is a review on the on Windows Move Windows Live Movie Maker. So just remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.